Hello, what's going on, guys? Um, today, I want to show you uh, one of the most useful tips in eTabs, which is um, which will help you to to model faster. As you, as you can know, everyone um, uh, takes a lot of time during modeling in eTabs, and this can be very frustrating and can uh, can be very tiring. So, what I'm going to do is um, I will show you first um, uh, the, the the steps. So. I'll just go to the say here. I'll use a metric and all the things. So in this trick, it will help you to not every time create define and um, define material and, and and define section properties because uh, most of the time we are spending a lot of time uh, for to define materials and to define section properties. This uh, this method will also help you to when if for defining load cases. So what you do is um, you, you need to say uh, I'll, I'll first create my material. Let's say here I will say this is a concrete concrete say 25, and then um, I'll just change this to 25. Okay, just I'll, I'll just do this quickly so that. Um, you can see how you how we do it and then here I'll change to say Reba and then I'll say Reba I'll say Reba okay so and then I'll just leave the things because I don't need to I'm not working with this I'm just uh, showing it for you okay so and then I'll define section properties say for example I'm going to define um, a concrete column okay modify and then I'll call this uh, as uh, C say 300 by uh, 300 concrete concrete okay and then I'll just change this to 300 and this um, to 300 okay and then also I can um, add a copy of property and then I'll say C um, say 300 by 200 and also i just I, I won't change a lot of things i just want to show you say i have these properties and then let's say I, i'll define one beam say i have um my beam of uh, let's say 500 by 250 this is also concrete and then okay this is 500 this is a uh, 250 okay i won't change the enforcement or anything because I, I i just want to show you okay so normally whenever you start the work you have to define your things but um if um let's say i, I have defined this and then i uh, let's say i also have defined my load, load combination and then i'll save this i'll save this to okay to my etabs model let's say I'll say this to YouTube to YouTube okay so what um, what this this thing can help me okay so okay so uh, okay right now uh, I'm creating a new model which um, say I'm starting my new model today and um, I have to save time so what I'm going to do is um, instead of going and uh, defining all the materials and all the section properties there is a method which I, I can use the previous uh, settings that I have defined on my previous um, on my previous uh, works um, so you see here I'll say use setting from a file from a model file and uh, then okay and now it shows me so I'll, I'll choose YouTube and then okay so what it does here I will be using a new model let's say I'll use this and um, okay so as you can see I have a new model here to I have a new work to, to model but if I go to refine um, I already have a riba and concrete and if I go to 
define section properties I, I already have my columns and my beams and if I had uh, defined um, a load combination I would also have seen them here and if I have load cases so this 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 method is very good uh, to, to save time you don't need to define materials and uh, to define properties and it also helps you not to define load cases and load combination every time so when right now uh, we're, we're using this uh, method you can straight away go to your uh, modeling and start to model just go material select columns uh, just select uh, and you start to model okay thank you very much guys thank you for watching